In today's video, we will look at another way to use AI with Power Query. And this time we're going to look at how you can make all of your M code much simpler and easier to read. Power Query adds quotes around your variable names whenever they break certain rules. That doesn't change that your code still runs, but it does make things messier. Let's look at the issue and we're going to see how AI can help us turn that code into something more clean and more readable. Suppose we want to have a day table. My website has a day table right there. And if we go to the bottom part, we can have a day table script. This is the one. That's what we're going to work with. So I'm going to copy this and get it into Power Query. And in Power Query, I go to the advanced editor, copy paste that. So when we look at variable names, the let statement has variable names at the start. They are also named as identifiers, a way to identify what you're referring to. Now, the top here are regular identifiers. Those are identifiers that don't have the double quotes and they don't have the hashtag at the start. Now, if we go a little bit below, these are considered quoted identifiers. Now, what's the difference between those two? By default, Power Query tries to have regular identifiers, but it, that can only happen in certain conditions. So you need to start your name with either a letter or an underscore. That's the first rule. The second rule is the name of the variable can only contain letters, numbers, full stops or underscores. And it cannot be one of the reserved keywords that Power Query has. For example, the word if or each deck, if that alone is the name of your variable, it will also be quoted. Now let's see how we can use AI to make our code much more readable. So if I take a copy of all of this, we can go to ChatGPT and I created the following prompt. Uh, we're using ChatGPT 04 mini and the prompt tells us my code uses variable names that are written as hashtag double quote. I would like to change these so we can use the regular identifier notation. That can only be done if the variable start with an underscore or a letter and they contain only letters, numbers, underscores or full stops. Fix my code, don't format it, and keep my comments. Now, if we paste the code just below that, I'm going to press enter, and it will take a moment to generate the output that we need. So now ChatGPT is ready with the code. We can now actually just copy this and get it into Power Query. So back into Power Query, we open the advanced editor, and now we copy paste all of this code in here. What you'll notice is, at the start, the variable names now do not include any quoted notations. They're all regular. And that is because there's no spaces in here and they all start in the right way. Now, if we press OK, we can see that our code is still fully working. But now all of this code actually looks a lot easier to digest. Now, looking back, could we have done something like that manually? Absolutely. It's not a difficult task. It's just a bit tedious. And that's exactly where AI helps because AI will do the boring stuff we get to do the more enjoyable work and we get to do it faster.